How do you deal with pests and disease on your farm? What do you mean, how, we, how do I deal with pests and disease on a farm? It shows up. Doesn't it show up at your place? Care to elaborate? Do I care to elaborate? Well, there it is. So what? Show me one example anywhere, somewhere, anywhere, that there's been a 100% total wipeout crop loss from a pest or disease. You can't show me an example. You, nobody's been able to show me an example so far. A classic example is uh, apples. Before the advent of pesticides and um, fungicides and disease control agents in the apple crop, there was about a 17% um, crop loss due to pests and diseases. Now that we have all the chemicals uh, in our toolkit, it's about 14% crop loss due to pests and diseases. So why all the expense for what, a 3% gain? Uh, if you don't do a monocrop system over hundreds of zillions of acres, and you now have a diversified ecological system, so many natural processes come into play. You've got pe natural pest control, natural disease control, uh, and when you are combining that with genetic improvement of your crops and your livestock, you are selecting for the crops and the livestock that are more resistant to pests and diseases instead of more susceptible to pests and diseases. Why would you want to grow peppers, for example, that you have to spray all kinds of stuff on it to prevent disease and to prevent pests, when you could be growing a pepper that's equally as good that you do nothing to? Well, how are you going to find that pepper that you do nothing to unless you do nothing to it, save your own seed, and start producing your own varieties? It's not rocket science. It's relatively simple. Uh, it's, it's totally doable. Native Americans since 6,000 years ago have bred how many different zillion varieties of corn that were totally adapted to the conditions in North America, Central America, and they did it with, with no university knowledge, no genetic testing, not even any knowledge of DNA and, and trait transfer, and they did it without fossil fuels, without mechanical tillage, uh, without chemical fertilizer. So if they can do it, and theoretically we have so much more knowledge than they did, they did back then, if they can do it, why can't we? Well, guess what? We can. So we have pests, we have diseases, we live with it, we breed through it, and we have a rich, diverse ecological system that helps to take care of a lot of the, uh, a lot of the downsides of that.